Welcome to Wednesday's News Moto, brought to you by For Real. Each week, we partner a motor ride somewhere in Cambodia with updates about what's happening around the country. It's a fun way for you to keep up to date with events in the kingdom. Today's ride is the first in a series on our way out to see Bante Ampil, a fantastic temple 36 kilometres northeast of Siem Reap. There will be a video about our visit to this temple at some point in the future. If you missed my recent riding adventure to Bente Tom, I'll leave a link at the end of this video and you can watch it next. At For Real, we donate the money we earn from YouTube to charities in Cambodia. In case you don't know how it works, YouTube pays us every month based on the number of views on the ads throughout our videos in that particular month. So by viewing our videos, you're helping us to earn the money. It adds up over time and we're really happy that we can support great charities in this way. In the description of this and every For Real video, you will find links to the charities we support. Please visit their websites to find out more about them and donate directly to them if you'd like to. We regularly support Cambodian Children's Trust, Heartprint and Reach. Okay, now the formalities are out of the way, let's get into the news. It is Wednesday the 3rd of April and it's really heating up in the Kingdom of Wanda. Today we look at free tourist visas, rules for Khmer New Year, Ripto Crypto, update you on the recent train and bus crash, and as always, we'll finish off with some good news. Pressure is mounting on Cambodia to allow visa-free travel for those from non-ASEAN countries. Thailand is showing the way and reaping the benefits from the rising numbers of tourists. The Cambodia chairperson of the Pacific Asia Travel Association is strongly pushing for the removal of the $30 fee for tourist visas. Cambodia imposes this entry fee on almost all international tourist arrivals, with exemptions given only to those from other ASEANs. This move may encourage the return of Chinese tourists, who were the largest category of visitors to Cambodia pre-COVID. For the last three years, however, this has changed, and visitors from Vietnam and Thailand are vastly outnumbering the now small number of Chinese visitors in Cambodia. So what are they doing next door in Thailand? Well, their new policy for visa exemption allows tourists from most countries to enter without prior approval or payment of a fee. Apart from those from ASEAN nations, travellers from other countries such as China, India, Russia, the UK, EU, the US and Australia are eligible to get free tourist entry with a minimum of 30 days stay in Thailand. As Australians, we have always been able to enter Thailand on a 30-day visa exemption, so the change must be that they have increased the list of countries to which this applies. Thailand is also planning to open legal casinos within the next two years, which will generate stiff competition to gambling tourism in Cambodia. Recently, Cambodia and Thailand also began to promote the Two Kingdoms, One Destination campaign in a bid to attract more tourists to both countries. This is good news for the region's One Visa Fast Borders project. The agreement would see a tourist with a visa or pass be able to travel between Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos and Malaysia with ease. Hopefully this can be sorted out before the next high season as it would be a huge boost for all countries in the region. Now some news that will really put a dampener on the Khmer New Year events in Phnom Penh. In order to maintain security, safety and public order in Phnom Penh, as well as to preserve the national tradition, the Phnom Penh Municipal Administration has stressed that all activities like throwing water, throwing powder and general unruliness during the upcoming Khmer New Year will not be allowed. The Phnom Penh Capital Administration appealed to the people, especially young people, to follow these six rules. Obey the road traffic law and do not drive while intoxicated. Refrain from all forms of illegal gambling. Do not play water throwing games and do not throw water and powder at people who are traveling by vehicle. The import, distribution, purchase and sale of fireworks and all kinds of explosives is prohibited. Be careful with fire, especially candles, incense sticks and electric stoves. Participate in Khmer folk games. As we understand it, these rules are just for Phnom Penh. It will probably be business as usual in Siem Reap with three days of being drenched every time you leave the house. But it's all done in a fun manner and never with intention of disrespect. Khmer New Year water fights are innocent, wholesome fun for everyone and it does generate a lot of tourism revenue and enjoyment for all involved. Now a story that really hammers home the need for boom gates and major rail crossings. A train collided with a passenger bus in Pusat province causing 46 people to be injured. 
Five were seriously injured and are being treated at the district referral hospital. Both the bus driver and the train driver were seriously injured and broke their legs. There was CCTV footage circulating that showed the impact and the moments leading up to it. The train driver was blasting his horn as he approached the intersection. However, the bus driver entered the intersection without stopping or slowing. Jeremy found that very disturbing to watch, being an ex-train driver himself. Remember to look both ways at any rail crossings, even when there are a few trains around. It only takes a few seconds and it may save your life. Ripto Crypto, a man has been arrested by the Department of Technology Crimes for money laundering under the guise of investing in digital currency. The man created false social media identities on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and some Telegram accounts and lured his victim through a series of posts. The Department of Technology Crimes reminds people to be careful in using social media and transferring funds to anonymous accounts. Digital currency is not recognised by the authority of the royal government. Unlike crypto though, these angels are real. A driver and her passenger were seriously injured after they lost control of their vehicle while travelling at high speeds early yesterday morning in Phnom Penh. Sources at the scene said that prior to the incident, a white Mitsubishi car, driven by a woman with three other female passengers, was seen travelling north at high speeds along National Road 5. The driver lost control and smashed into a road divider. The driver and one of the passengers were seriously injured and were taken to hospital by ambulance. Hopefully they'll make a full recovery and luckily the angels were there and not a moto with a family on it. With Kamenyu year comes a huge jump in road deaths. The Prime Minister has encouraged the joint organisation of numerous traditional Khmer Games during the Khmer New Year celebrations and proposed granting rewards to provinces that do not experience traffic accidents during the festivities. The PM called for active participation of people, especially the youth, in celebrating the New Year. He urged capital provincial governors and district officials to arrange entertainment programs gradually and encouraged pagodas to organise religious ceremonies. The countdown is on and Khmer Year will be celebrated in 10 days, from the 13th to the 16th of April. The Department of Culture and Fine Arts of Kempung Spu Province, in collaboration with the Union of Youth Federations of Cambodia, will hold the 2024 ox cart race, which will take place on Sunday the 7th of April. This ceremony is held to preserve, develop and promote the tradition of ox cart racing in Kempung Spu Province, which Khmer ancestors have practised for a long time. According to the study of history of this ceremony, the ox cart was originally used only to transport the dowry in wedding ceremonies or to transport the grandparents to participate in wedding ceremonies and festivals. In following years, the villagers also began to use ox cart racing to celebrate before the traditional Khmer New Year. As the Merry Men song stated, you will be feeling hot, hot, hot for the next few weeks. The Ministry of Water Resources and Meteorology has issued a notification on the weather situation. A low pressure system is currently covering the Gulf of Thailand, Cambodia, the central Mekong Basin and the South China Sea. Temperatures are expected to range from highs of 40 degrees to lows of 25 degrees across the country. We do highly recommend staying inside during the hottest parts of the day, drinking plenty of water and also taking some Royal D. Make use of aircon coffee shops and our new favourite watering hole, downtown eatery and bar on Soxan Road. It's air conditioned and it's lovely. That brings us to an important announcement about an event that is occurring on Tuesday, the 16th of April. You can come and meet the team behind the fantastic Beyond Angkor website. In case you don't know, this is a huge database of ancient sites, combining the old Sisark records with new sites that have been discovered using satellite technology. Those of us who enjoy visiting temples use this website a lot and it will be great to meet the team behind it. Event details are on our Facebook page, just look for the pinned post. And lastly, we have some good news. Doctors were called to a remote village in Sambo district, Krache, as a woman was having a baby. Due to the location, boats were needed to access the area. Unfortunately, the woman had to be transported back to the hospital. However, the baby had other ideas and the doctors had to deliver the baby on board the small boat. Luckily, the doctors delivered the baby safely and mother and child are now recuperating at the local hospital. I wonder if this unusual birth will reflect in the choice of name for the baby. On that happy note, we've reached the end of this week's news. You're now up to date with all of the most important events in the kingdom. 
Don't forget to join us on Instagram or Facebook if you'd like to see more posts about our daily life here in Siem Reap. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, a link to my Bante Tom video will appear on the screen momentarily. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, have a great week, and we'll see you very soon. Mm -hmm.